the same effect Fnatic could back then. And of course, Orn can get better or worse depending on what type of summoner's rift you have with the map changing as the dragons fall. I want to have a look more holistically at these compositions, Vedius. We've talked about the in now shadow seizes opportunity. Call of the Forge God. Wonder flashes away from it, and now Wonder perhaps looking to dive the towers. Pop the world ender, but the ignite is ticking. Orome flashes in, lands the brittle, and there is the first kill of the decade in the LEC. There's the second! Mad Lions ripping through G2. They find two quick kills. Yankos wants to try and answer back, though. Yankos coming in, but Kazi, look at the damage you get! The crescendo just shipping, shredding through caps. Yankos coming in with a cocoon, but Kaiser is there to body block. Yankos gonna try and get away, but he can't escape. 3 nil Mad Lions! And this is a perfect early game for Mad. Mad duo, they're able to find two kills. They're even able to get that kill onto the jungler. But now Chicho on revenge. One more. That's a concussive blow. Look at the damage coming out of the Glacial Fisher. Get a Felios. Just get a Felios. That okay. was the per times. This gave him a max range crescendo auto, but the action's not over yet, man. Wonder doesn't have flash. He's going to be knocked up against the wall. The alcove kicks him back, and Shadow should be able to secure the kill pretty easily here. It's 5 0 to Mad Lions. We're only 10 minutes in. Mad Lions players with experience on the LEC stage. However, here comes Perks trying to catch our Humanoid. That's Grass going to pull him back. He's in the realm of death right now. Perks flashes away. Humanoid looking to get away as well, but the cocoon's gonna land onto Shadow towards the top side. Humanoid low down towards the bottom. Shadow able to get away. Humanoid should be done for, healing up for an absolute massive amount of health. But in the end, Caps gets G2's first kill of the LEC in 2020. Action happening. The flash going. is gonna be used by Humanoid. Humanoid's just caught under the tower. Dawning Shadow comes out. There's nothing you can do about that. G2 with a good reaction play, knowing that Mad Lions were down towards the bottom side. They need to be proactive to get back into this game. Of course, Mad not slowing down. They will answer by pushing in the mid tower and the bot. Here comes Wonder on oh, the flank. Wonder's on the side, but Kazi flashes forward. And now this is where you see the power of Aphelios. Still doing damage. Wonder manages to try him down and gets away. Kaiser should be able to dodge back towards Shadow here. Well played by Wonder to get out of that one alive. Good. And they relieve some of the pressure that Matt has been putting down in this early game. And you can see Shadow, this is just way too far forward. Depth Shot's gonna connect, and Yankos actually kicked that great flash from Shadow. But Romain's gonna open up with Call of the Forge God, and now Mickey trying to get away. Kaiser's still stepping forward, they're gonna knock him up. There's the concussive blows for a successive stun, and Shadow is on a killing spree. Please don't worry, Shadow though is solo doing this. Perks is gonna spot him out. Shadow jumps across the wall, manages to escape, can jump back in. There's the Sonic Wave. Yankos is around the corner. Kaiser is just trying to act as a bouncer. Yankos gets it in the smite fight, then goes up in the repel, jumps onto Shadow, but Yankos is double flashes to make sure he picks up the Rift Held and he will be able to use that as soon as he respawns. It makes it easier to contest objectives because there's just less terrain. Makes oh. a lot of oh, pokes. Nice. flashes in, gets a double knock up, but is done! It was a little bit of a stutter step there by Perks, but he was able to get the kill, and here comes Wonder from the side. Humanoid in the realm of death will be done for pretty soon. Perks secures it. G2 strike back in the mid lane. Not giving you percentage AD and AP. Mad Lion's gonna try and contest this. The dragon does go down. Here comes the Call of the Forge God. Looking for Yankos down towards the bottom side. Caps is there as well. Shadow has the flank. It's a 3v4 at the moment, but here is Humanoid. Teleported in. Rips back Mickey into the middle of the fight. And Yankos and Caps are running for the hills up towards the top. A kill over to, to the Valios. It's a Valios and he's, <laughs> he's gone. He's not there anymore. Caps flashes across the walls to get away from Arome. But the Sonic Wave connects, and you have to feel Shadow will be on the chase as soon as he has just that little bit more energy. But there's the last embrace. Ooh, and nice Caps locks them up. Dodge away from the Glacial Fisher, and Mad Lions will give up the chase now. 200 gold between these two teams, and Wonder's trying to even out just a little bit more. The Infernal Chariots will pull back Humanoid. The Death Realm Who's is trapped there, in here with who, Mickey, and Wonder's still on the chase. Neither of them really doing too much to the other, but there is the Dawning Shadow, and there goes Humanoid. Another kill to Wonder. He's got two on the board. Very, very strong. She also has a stopwatch available to her. Uh, often we do see... Ooh, might see another fight right now. Yeah, Wonder stepping forward. The concussive blow is two procs in. There's the third. Mickey coming from the side as well. Call of the Forge God comes out. It's going to land on Mickey and Caps. Maybe the chase is going to continue. Kazi with a Moonlight Vigil lands it from long range, but it's only the Severum. He just gains health from that. Will be able to take out Mickey, but not able to chase any further. Haven't. It is Infernal in this game, so it's quite strong. It is the Infernal as well, so it gives you a lot of extra damage. Hit the fight from Perks. Pops the supreme display of talent, but only lands on Humanoid. And ninth, the fight is really going to begin. The Dawning Shadow coming out. There's the Call of the Forge God. Kazi, uh, Kazi and Kaiser fighting off towards the top side. Caps putting down a lot of damage. Last Embrace is not going to land. Perks still on the flank position. G2 trying to pinch them in on Mad Lions here. Trying to catch them like cats in a trap. A Humanoid going forward. The Infernal Chain's going to come out. But Yakus is already down. Kazi's going to have the death charge on him. There was one down as well as Humanoid. It's fallen. 4v4. 
before. Wonder going forward. G2 have felt the pain of an Aatrox in this river before. And they're trying to put it down on Mad Lions. Perks jumping up to the back line. Cars is still alive, but now he's shut down. It's Cows to take it. He gets one, he gets two, and he's looking for more. Perks on the chase takes another. And G2 will wipe Mad Lions in the river. Fantastic patience from Perks. He was waiting for that moment to kill Kazi. He knows that with Kazi gone, the fight is G. Pocket, this Baron won't go down too quickly. We talked about it earlier. Caps with that set auto attack speed isn't going to do it too quickly. And here's the TP. Humanoid hasn't had the best of games. Only did 500 damage in the last fight, but he's looking for Mickey. Jumps in, Death Realm onto Perks. Humanoid might just die straight away. He's got the shield down. Perks is taken down. The Baron has fallen. Humanoid's still looking for the kill. Gets one. That's one Baron down. Aroma coming in as well. You can see Kazi's on the chase, but Arome runs away and G2 will escape. You have to feel here with four Baron buffs. Strong right now. They they fell behind early. They made a lot of big mistakes They end up getting punished. Man now starting to group up. They want to try and force fights. Eyes on the front line. Pops the unbreakable. Arome looking for the call of the Forge God. Doesn't land on anyone. The Forge God is shadow. Wonder's on a rampage. Kazi trying to do what he can with the Moonlight Mitchell. He shut down Wonder, but there's the stun from the side. Perks once again finds the flag. Arome chased out by Yankos. He sinks in his fangs and gets another kill. Humanoid comes out of the realm of death just to go back to the fountain and G2 are just dismantling Mad Lions. A new decade with another win on the board. Wonder stepping forward to Rome. Gonna get ripped back with it. Oh, actually uses the Bella's breath to get away. Kaiser though still on the front line. Locked up with the last in breath. Mickey perhaps a little bit overextended here. He's gonna fall first but the call of the fortune coming out. Wonder pops the stopwatch to get away from it. Perhaps G2 have delved a little bit too greedily. The last embrace will stun up a Rome for the moment and Mad Lions just able to defend their nexus but doesn't really have too much damage yet, but now this is a great flank position. Kaiser's going to step forward for the Curse of the Black Mist, doing a lot of work here. Wonder trying to get in. Perks on the oh, He's gone. Goodbye. Wave goodbye to any hopes of winning this team fight as well, Mad Lions. Because you may have stuck together like a pride, but there was no pride in the way that fight went. G2 just shred through them once again. Yankos going to chase down a Rome. Rome, of course, has the exhaust from the unsealed spell, but, but Caps is on his way as well. Extra movement speed from that Curse of the Black Mist, and Arome is going nowhere. Both Perks and Wonder are pushing in the base. G2 looking for kills, as they always have done. And with the Nexus in their sights, G2 will record the first win of the LEC here in 2020. They had winning ways in 2019, and I'm sure they'll want to continue it. And they had phantom diving ways last year as well. There aren't even the minions going to take this. In the end, Wonder secures it. G2, 1-0 in the LEC. Definitely not a clean game. You can see the head shaking.